good morning my friends especially those who really really wanted to see this canvas to be worked on and just to remind you what we are going to work on today it's my gorgeous running horses through the water they are amazing if you watch my lately video of whips i showed you how much i have progress on this canvas if you missed the video please find so i don't have to right now show i already set up for the camera so on this canvas i did pull out my frame because i was working with the frame before but then i needed this frame in my other cross stitch that i was working on so it's just some literally like a holding in my hand like this the canvas i showed you before how i work it's laying flat on my table off the table kind of so it's hanging in the air and i put something heavy on the back my camera staying also right now on the top of my canvas and we are going to work i decided to work right on the edge in here with this red symbols little circles in here and i maybe will use my lamp for the extra light because it's pretty dark in here hopefully we will get some progress and by the way i stitch a lot these days maybe i can open more window blinds and try to let's try try first without oh it's uh, very blue <laughs> it's very blue all right the point is you don't have to watch you can listen just my chit chatting because you are going to work on your own projects right so i pick this chunk of color because it's lots of it and it's actually this light color that I already stitched in here a little bit around so we will continue with this color I'm trying to get this waves of the water make a progress so we can have some visual view of what is going on in this canvas I think this waves will look really really good and for cross stitch lovers, I have to say right now, I, I might mention before in some of my videos that I'm using spinner. I think I mentioned already. I'm using spinner to help me to get some project that I did not work on it for a long time. So my spinner will help me to pick. I feel like I need to move camera a little bit further. Uh, will help me to pick some project that I maybe even forgot about it then feel like stitch so spinner will help me to make a progress and also without spinner I'm working on the little tiny canvas of the sampler of winter which I thought I can stitch in one week and it's done because it's such a little canvas and oh boy I was wrong it's not that easy as it looks well it's easy to stitch but it's just for me I like better stitch on this big canvases like this than little tiny one but I decided to finish that one canvas so I will be showing you in my progress probably next week because I will next week I will show you video of all my progress of three canvases that my spinner picked from me and I did my spinner on 4th of February no hold on today it's 5th so on 3rd that would be on 3rd that I did and I already work on all three canvases that I uh, picked by spinner and I have some good progress and it's fun to do this way so I highly recommend if you are process multi-process person who like to stitch a lot and you don't like to stick with one canvas and I have to tell you it's much more fun to work with many canvases than just one start to finish because sometimes just to switch from color to color from 
one image to another it boosts your energy a lot to keep going and stitch a few canvases a day even um, just to make a progress maybe you tire from one canvas it's good to jump to another one and I did this with these three canvases I stitch uh, so far I stitch each canvas that I pick by the spinner like once I would say like in one setting and I like what I see I restarted one totally so I tear apart what I did before because it was a wrong layer of stitching that I did and uh, yeah so I will create that video for one week and next week I will show you everything like how I picked those uh, canvases uh, middle point progress I guess I can do that and and maybe stitch together a little bit as well that would be fun for those who like to see how stitches layer now I have to say that I am very sorry for those who try to cross stitch for the first time and quit I can't remember name but I got the comment that you started and you just keep losing your thread and you quit <laughs> I'm sorry don't do that please don't quit on Wednesday kind of uh, more comfortable for me on Wednesday usually we do some with European town which is original canvas called not European town it's called Green Village but Joy Sunday it's because they mentioned don't produce canvases anymore uh, so Joy Sunday call it European town and usually I do some tips and tricks on that canvas all the time so I think I will show you and I will try to Okay, try to remember I will try to remember to show you I did some um, tips of this kind of what to do with the needle if you keep losing needle a long time ago could be in one of my beginners video or maybe beaded video but anyway it's still I have I remember showing you that technique and I will show you on Wednesday so if you watching this video Please bring your canvas to the table on Wednesday and I will show you what to do so you can stitch without worry losing needle all the time from your thread. Okay, I hope I hope I can remember that. I will write down for myself. So I don't want anybody to quit stitching because this is such a fun. You just have to try it one more time. And also I would show you like right now even what to do um, because the technique that I will show you it's good for well this is actually 14 count I forgot that this is not 11 count uh, but I already thread my thingy uh, okay anyway I will show you right now a little bit the uh, technique first for example here is my needle maybe you pull a needle like this all the way by holding like this and when you pull it you your thread fallen off your needle what I would recommend and that's how I do it when I push in here needle I grab with my two fingers here and my as soon as I pull needle off my canvas this middle finger which not nice to say holding right in here I put right in here to secure my thread so they don't move from this point and that's how I pull and close like this this secure my threads and then it's kind of like a squishing together as I pull so my threads never lose from the needle it's so easy you just have to kind of practice to get used to it. my finger kind of like automatically go to this point soon as I pull out grab in here and third one automatically grab in here try it please and let me know if this is work for you this is like a one technique and 
Don't quit. Don't quit. Keep practicing. You're not a quitter. You know this you're not. You just have to get used to it. And you will have fun. Maybe a little bit difficult at first, but that's a, a definitely fun craft to do. So maybe, um, see I already retread, this is like a brand new thread there, it's a long one. Uh, I might would even show you in today how I thread needle. Should I? Uh, yeah, I can show you. I have uh, extra needles in here. You know what, let's do since we are talking today. We will do it today. I have in here needle. Okay, I just need a thread. I will zoom out a little bit. Okay, and I just scrub for this uh, type. Like usually I pull out two threads and then I thread them through the needle. For this technique you need just one. So I pick one. I fold my thread on half. This is excellent technique to start for the Basically, yes, if you don't like to fight with your um, threads the needle. Here is my two tail that I will thread them. Like this, okay, this is the ends. I pull them out and then I Pull my thread all the way. Okay, make sure we don't have a nuts in here. Pull it all the way, almost to the end. Do you see that? Okay. Now grab this needle and go through this loop that you have left. Okay, you just put on the top. Grab your needle, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it there you created little knot right in here next to your needle now you can bounce you can twist you can do whatever you want you have your needle always on a, on a thread you're not gonna lose and i showed this technique long long time ago and i refer to if you have a pets or little kids on the house and if you accidentally lose your needle it's very very dangerous so this is kind of like a safe way to keep your needle on a thread all the time without losing. Sometimes I pull my thread and it's kind of like a bounce and catch in the canvas and needle fall. And sometimes can untangle and fall on the floor or sofa, whatever. This way it's always will be hanging on your canvas on a thread as you stitch. And you just stitch this, uh, this part uh, as you would do normally stitch. This canvas is soft enough for me to wave so I'm kind of like a waving on the back with this one but that that's the way you do it. You, you tangle up one little knot around. Okay? So yeah, I can show you one more time. It's easy to untangle and it's go almost like to no waist thread also. It's kind of big saving for the thread. Yeah. So when you pull all the way to here, you just go through with your needle through this loop that it's left and hold it and pull it. Okay, I hope this helped for many of you and uh, I will use this thread later on. Okay, that was another little tip as I feel absolutely horrible that somebody would quit uh, practicing of stitching because of this little uh, negative um, negative uh, experience. I, I want you to have fun so I hope this helps. Yeah this canvas definitely so much different than my European town because this one is so easy to stitch on. It's a soft canvas. It's soft canvas.
so I can wave even with my uh, needle that I have like the flat nose this needle that I have this is uh, the one that I work for 14 count this is also so excuse my nails it's chopped all the way in Nasanyane it's not exactly pointy needle it's still kind of like mm, in the middle between sharp and not so it's also kind of like it's not a little dull on the end so if I accidentally poke my finger I'm not gonna get a bloody finger so it's comfy to stitch and comfy to point and go even through the canvas like I did um, technique how to start or finish so it's easy I don't have to do in here start like I do start on European town by um, using those tails of threads hanging on my canvas this one I can finish all the way and my apology because I, I will be stopping this <laughs> video a few times I have to answer the phone we still rescue people from the snow we have so much snowfall that's ridiculous it's like a North Pole in here tons of snow so we are helping today a little bit more than usually for people who not on our list so we can unbury them a little bit so people call and I have here like hotline my phone so I have to stop my video sometimes I know it's not very good for you because then I'm losing my thoughts and if I were talking about something important then I already forgot about that's the thing okay I'm girl from 70 who remembers storm what was it 76 or 77 there was so much snow that everything the world was shut down <laughs> we as a kids have an have blast we built a it's like an igloo whatever houses from the snow we the snow was like so hard later then we dig it out from whatever the wind blow to the edges of the fence or trees and it would be like two three meter high snow and we would dig it out from the inside build the houses with door and windows create little tables uh, or sitting area from the snow it was fun as you kid now you're thinking no I don't want a snow at all I want a summer already so yeah that was lots of snow and later when I was working already that was like in well when 94 or 95 Five sometime was also huge snowfall it was tunnels when you walk through the field some areas so yeah this this today we have lots of snow in here we didn't have much snow previous years got lucky kind of few snowfalls for the winter and that's it this time looks like we got enough for all those years that we did not have a good snow I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe today with this cross stitch I will try to record one more video for diamond painters so you will have I hope I have enough time to record one more video so you will have two videos today hopefully okay not promise 99.9% .9 that I will record because I have one handy canvas in here that I would love to work on see it's kind of like we work and work and barely see any progress well kind of we hide in red spots but thread itself barely can see it because it's light color so I will catch this two probably this one circle 
but then I have circle like right one in here one in here and go up so this two I will catch for me more close to do them with this area of circles in here and that's like a under legs of the horse brown horse so I am just gonna go on the bottom today so we stick kind of to one area without having a thread too long on the back I, I like my spinner thing for diamond painting as well but yeah you know I do spinner but doesn't mean I will do just what spinner told me I still gonna have if I have a good progress on something that spinner picked me and I will kind of continue and do on some other project that is see like I didn't even work on my tiger yet oh you know what that's the tiger tiger okay I didn't even work on tiger this week and I still did not pick specific day for it so you know what my second video I will do of tiger and we will create another video so I still have a tiger this week even it's a you know kind of weekend already but still the same week And we will work on an area where I kind of tuck in my last video so we can see some more colors. Now to remind you this horse is uh, from FG Normal which is uh, as a title of this video you already know this. But maybe if somebody still wondering where this canvas from. I should have a link as well but there's a possibility some discount code up there from HG Normal please check it out that if you want to save some money Wizardy right now have a sell up to 50% on diamond paintings not sure about cross stitching but diamond painting like a, up to 50% uh, over 200 and my phone ran again 200 designs okay so see I just talk on the phone and can't remember what I was talking about oh the, the discount code okay so yeah uh, I do have lots of discount codes in the description box if you are new you don't know that and uh, I posted uh, in my group that because I received email notification from Wizardy that they have up to 50% off on diamond paintings so check my code if it still work I don't know because they supposed to give me a discount code for you until like December 22 or something and they supposed to uh, give me new code but I never have received an email from them yet so not sure check maybe the old code still work if you're interested to order anything from them because uh, they do have gorgeous cross stitch kits up there which they are uh, counted if you like counted I don't think they sell uh, printed canvases but it is also lots of fun to work with counted and I'm stitching that I show you with my cross stitch saga I show you those flowers uh, design that I'm stitching and I have so much uh, some other uh, three or four designs 
from wizardy there is a count at cross stitch and I would love to start on them as well but I need to finish some canvas at least one I need to finish and that's one of those little ones if you didn't see my parade of whips please check it out also I have a video of all my designs that I have brand new canvases I have big collection video of diamond paintings few of them some of them from last year even and I think I linked them up from last year to this year uh, I did not have finishes of uh, designs from this year of diamond painting because I kind of mixed them all together and I can't really remember now which one was finished this year or next year because I keep doing some comparison videos and my diamonds always go kind of like in rotation moving from box to box so now I cannot remember which I finished maybe for this year I will try to put them in a separate folder or something so I can remember which I finished this year not sure if I should do that or not lots of confetti on this image so for beginners could be a little bit difficult canvas to work on if you never did before you would get probably overwhelmed but if you are very stubborn like I am <laughs> that you try to challenge yourself please do so you will have lots of fun with all those little bits and pieces Sometimes I wax my uh, thread, thread, sometimes I don't. And if you did not see what I'm using, I started to use like my homemade wax I created from beeswax. And I was, you can see, using for with the black threads because my black threads was tangled up too much, some of them in red in here. So it's kind of dirty wax, but did the job now i'm using uh because the stores brought this new wax in the containers like this look at that, how it's shredded with the threads again it's um nice white wax and after you wash your canvas the wax is dissolved off your thread so it's not going to be stiff on your canvas it will go away with the water when you wash your canvas but definitely good to kind of you know to to run your threads through this wax container to get a little bit maybe sometimes if you keep in especially you know what's good for it if you keep on your threads on this kind of bobbins uh, and they are when they wrap and you unwrap it your thread will be like a wiggle too much and maybe tangle up more so that's the good idea to use this wax to kind of even straighten straightener straighten your thread to make it more smooth and your threads will layer X much kind of neat without crawling up so that's what I'm using and I think every store right now that they have um, cross stitch I think they have this threaders not threaders but the box as well you just have to check it out the one that I'm using I think I ordered from DIY shoes um, I can't recall right now but check FG normal as well if they have or not in a cross stitch tools section they you might will find up there as well Talking about today of the second video for you of the tiger and some of you say to pick because I was like anxious to try some other canvases to pick to work on a tiger 
and some of you suggested that I should use spinner to pick which one tiger I want to add to the whips this year. Uh, so that's the thing. I am waiting on a mail, a few more tigers designs. So I think I will do the spinner. Thank you for that. But after I receive my canvases, so that way I can put them all on my spinner and see what spinner will pick for me to work on with you together. So, but as uh, right now, we will work in, on canvas of diamond painting from GBFKE and a tiger, the big tiger, gorgeous tiger. How are we doing up there so far? Oh, I need a cup of tea. I wake up this morning from the calls and I didn't even have anything to even drink, not even water. I sit up and I started to record the right away video. Take this opportunity when it's house for now, pretty much quiet, except my phone ring. That's the only distraction for now. Do you like these noises when the thread go a needle through your canvas? Kind of like shoo, 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 noises. I try a few times, you know, sometimes I stitch like I'm stitching right now. Well, when it's on the frame, it's kind of easy to stitch with two hands. But because I don't have enough frames, and if I use my spinner, of course a spinner will pick from me canvases that uh, I pull out of the frames uh, for those that I planned to stitch. And now a spinner will pick from me something that is like a old maybe, and I don't have a frame available. So I have to stitch with one hand and it's take a little bit longer, go up and down, up and down. But I try to work with two stitch at once, two holes, and I still don't like it. Okay, hold on, what is that? And I still don't like it. And I thought, okay, the canvas is big, who will know? how this looks like because later on from far nobody will see well I kind of know this and I not liking it because when I do my stitching up and down I have a nice and flat X when I would do like I will show you right now if I would do in, in two stitches like lots of people do and that's how I did when I was a teenager and older if I would do like this right in two it kind of would be like a twice faster because all I do is one kind of one pull from the front and then go back same way okay just not to not to catch any other threads like this but when I do like this, the canvas, because this canvas are soft, it kind of squishes together and my axis looks kind of like a 3D coming out up and kind of more round up and they look kind of messy this way. So that's why I try, I try, I wanted to do in two stitch at once and I just still cannot do it. It just not look beautiful. So that's why I go up and down, up and down. And if I have a frame, then it's 
faster because I would grab in here and pull with my left in here go with my left hand down my right would pick from underneath this way it's faster but I need to purchase a couple more frames this white one Q snaps because they are pretty good for the bigger canvases like this to have a bigger area I do have a lots of hoops which I have some bigger size hoops maybe I should put this canvas in a hoop I don't know but those hoops are wooden hoops and they don't keep tension too good because they keep loosening up if you are new to cross stitch and you thinking which one hoop you should order my recommendation will be look for those plastic hoops that I review on my channel they are excellent they have those ridges uh, wally and up uh, kind of like one ring has dent inside and the other one closure on the top go with sticking out piece so when you put canvas on the inside the hoop kind of like a hugging and pushing that canvas inside into your hoop so it's not coming out when you secure it stays tension very nice and tight wooden hoop it's flat on the inside and out and time from time it just loosens tension and you have to keep kind of pulling your canvas and tighten up your hoop more and more and I just don't really like those I do have a lots of them and I use the wooden ones just for the time like for example if I don't have anything else to use for the sake of quickly to do in a video I use them but I don't really like them I like the plastic one so if you have the opportunity check it out uh, FG normal tool section they should have up there plastic ring hoops in different sizes so you can order all of them in different sizes or just pick the bigger one size so you can have I like the bigger one size because it's good for any canvas some of them small one is very small but the only uh, the smallest one good if you have a, like a very very tiny designs for example the one that I was using on my uh, cross stitch of the winter images those in a circle circle images of the what we did with you penguin and poppy what did we do poppy and a bunny maybe I can't remember now what I did I know I did a poppy those one was like perfect for the small hoops uh, for the bigger one canvas like this one would be the bigger size better and they are nice we'll see uh, if I have a time I will link it up for you I will go check if FG normal have them so look in the area of the links if I find those tools that I'm using today in my video well the wax or of course hoops I'm not using them right now but I'm talking about okay from here to here kind of not far away maybe this too I will catch right now I go here one and then I go to the next one and now I will close them as a full stitch and I think at this point I can catch further away this tree and maybe this one this one can oh you cannot see it this one can go to this part I will just get this one because it's more close yep 
you know what I don't like when I stitch and my thread get into the end and I have like one more stitch or two to create for the particular symbols and eliminate the symbols from that area and all of a sudden my thread is finishing and I cannot do anymore. I was like, oh, now I have to re-thread with that particular color just for one stitch. Of course you can stitch with some different color that you will work later. Nobody will know that. But if you are following the rules, you will re-thread re your needle with this particular color and do the right way. But it's not necessary, as I say, you can just stitch sometimes when you have like a one left or two stitches just with something similar color that you work in that particular area. It's so nice and bright outside because of all this white snow pile and piles. But inside of the house it's dark, kinda. I think these days we're not gonna have snow for a couple of days, so that's good. We can have some break. Maybe for today's video, this is good enough. Link of the video will be, I hope so. And then check it out. I should have for you, as you're watching right now, video of diamond painting. And then I need to record unboxing review. I have lots of product laying here around and I did not have a chance to record video yet. Well, kind of one company that I have product in here, it's the one that we have already video this week, I think. So I'm just like waiting for next week to continue with that company. And the other one is uh, cross stitches so maybe I will put another cross stitch video uh, what's today fifth is it let me check something I need to look my calendar because I need to make my plan fifth so Saturday so Sunday maybe Sunday I will do video review on, on cross stitch for you and if I have extra time I will create diamond painting as well we'll see I know not everybody like cross stitch uh, thank you for suggestion because most almost everyone that I read the comments say that you like the mix video cross stitch and diamond painting opening it one, in one video uh, not separate them just I think it's only one person says that uh, they don't care about cross stitch and they would love to see a video separated but majority almost everyone 99% says uh, you like both and for those who don't like cross stitch usually if I do this kind of mix video I do I open diamond painting first just because uh, of you so you can watch diamond painting and then you can just uh, you know go and watch s someone else channel the, when I will continue with cross stitch so in those yeah video if I do mix I always do diamond painting first so I hope that will satisfy everybody but on Sunday I will do only 
crustage because that's the company that care only crustages. No diamond painting up there. And it's going to be the most beautiful one that will be comparison video. Something that you already saw, but also at the same time it's something different. Well, I don't know, something new, something old, <laughs> okay? Let's keep you thinking about it. I'm not gonna tell you what. Okay, I think I will do one more in here and I will finish my thread in here. So what I will do, because this canvas are soft, and I would do kind of flip on another side in here and I would do just um, wave on the back in here because this canvas are very nice for it it's easy to do see just like this and I just going to cut the, okay where's my magnet put needle away grab my scissors and chop this tail right in here and that's it that's what we have for today let me move away a little bit here is what we have so far my beautiful horses let me move over a little bit just so I know it's going to be for you upside down but still move a lamp which way this way yeah so still tons and tons to work in here of those singles so I will work on this bottom canvas till I finish this big chunk and then I can move uh, further probably go up in here or finish to f this horse in here uh, or just keep continuing here because I really want to see the nature um, uh, water splashes it's like a mountains in here rocks should be so that's what I will do go kind of this this corner thank you so much for stitching with me today and check it out my second video for today diamond painting and look for the link. I will see if I can find it for you, the product that I've talked about.